readings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Fallout 76. What is that up in the air? It doesn't belong there. Where then? Up a little bit. Okay. Five tomahawks? Okay. That wasn't anything like what I wanted. Uh, we can replace this then with the concrete. Yes. That's what I want to do. Fantastic that they have that included. Okay. Circuitry, gears, oil, steel. Steel we have 1k of, which is insane. Because I would like to put it over here, but I can't because... Angles. Why can't I? There we go. Right click. Oh, finally. Aha! Modify. Yeah, I'm pretty sure as to be able to see it. We could go hard receiver. So we do crazy damage now with that. So we have a couple of turrets around. It's pretty nice. They don't require electricity, which is also nice. Man, what a place. What a place indeed. Whoa, it's so bright. Oh, here we are. My camp is set up to my right. I don't see it though. I figured it would be a sizable structure or that I would spawn within it. It's not the case. Now it's all smoky. It says my camp is right here, but it's not. Oh, you can mine iron? Why in the world? Iron ore added. It's so strange. Oh, here we go. Wow. Okay, speaking of which, what else do I need to reload? Oh, 15 shots now. Okay. There we go. So the camp is here, and I have uh, thought about some things. So uh, this here is a stash box. Uh, this one here, then, I need to edit and take it downstairs so that it's accessible for the, uh, why can't it go here? For the workstations? I guess it can go back here is fine. Or even in the corner back here. Perfect. What if we just go into the Tinker's workbench here, and we go into bulk, and we're just going to make a bunch of bulk things. Apparently we need plastic for bulk, and I guess that's just to store it in. But I feel like this is going to give us more room in our, uh, in our stash. However, what I don't know is, can I then use this stuff in its bulk form? Okay, so we're down to four plastic now. And it still sounds like it's making things. But I'm pretty sure that this means, oh no, uh, that we have room here. Hang on. Let's make sure all of our junk is scrapped, though. Oh, look at all that. This has got to be all the bulk items that I just crafted, though. So scrapping them gives me that. Uh, let's store all of our junk first, then. See, like this aluminum can? That should be broken down, I feel. Barbed walking cane mods, I have two of them. The value is only 25. I don't even know if I need to keep those. I should probably throw them away. These known plans, though, I need to store. Because they're worth a lot. So these uh, jarred, scorched body parts are still in here, which is fantastic. Yeah, we did make uh, plenty of room, which is awesome. Astoundingly awesome. We'll store the death claw egg. Hopefully it doesn't get uh, nasty. Ammo shouldn't weigh anything. It does, though. These fusion cores both weigh three.
Yeah, they do have a very slight weight. Man, tons of inventory management yet again. I don't know, also, uh, where do you craft locks at? It's got to be the Tinker's workbench, right? But I guess you have to have maybe a certain level ammo bulk, energy ammo, explosives. Uh, I could just put it on here. That totally works. Yeah, can just put it on the front here. It's not at eye level, so it's a little more difficult to see, but it still works, for me at least. Oh, come on now. It can go on the drill. <laughs> That's kind of silly. And it's half hidden. I was really hoping it would just sit on the front here. It looks like it would perfectly. It's got a weird hitbox. That's for sure. Okay. So the armor one is going to stay then. I may bring it down. What? How did it s flip like that? Need support. What are you talking about? Why is it turned green if it's not allowed to be placed there? Well, I'm intensely frustrated because it really looks like it should go there and that nothing should be the matter. But it clearly is the matter. Alright. Guns will be hidden. I don't like it that it's... Oh man, I've done it again. Yeah. Building isn't all together intuitive in this game, clearly. This one should be easy, though. Come on. This thing has a crazy amount of space to put things on. So there we go. Ammo. Okay. And I never did uh, figure out the blueprint, either. I'm not sure how it how it works, or what the budget is for it. Because I feel like everything in here should be part of the blueprint, but it's clearly not. Like, why aren't these walls? Okay, so that's full up then. I guess we can create the blueprint then. Yeah, under new. Base. House. And then, what if we come up here and do more? Okay, so we'll create a new one here and say base second for second floor, right? And I'll pretend like I know what I'm doing and that it makes sense to me. Good grief. Way too much base management for the opening of a, of a video. Don't worry, I will uh, cut that out mostly. Some of it might be interesting to a lot of you people, but a lot of people really don't like that kind of thing. I love it. I love building bases and I love having fun with them. Uh, but for whatever reason, not everybody's like that. If everybody was like that though, the world would be a pretty boring place. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't mean to run into the wall there. There we go. Okay. Can he see me? He can. Alright, hit me. Whoa. Okay, not fair. Okay. I'm sure that I've already read this or listened to it before. Jeff, I really hope you got my message and my hint was clear enough to help you find this hollow tape. I'm leaving the cabin. These brotherhood of steel guys haven't found out where I live yet, but they might. I'm going to hide out in the place where we had our first date. Come and meet me there when you can. Personal journal, I think it was. Monitoring program with a password, and I'd like you to have it. After everything.
everything the Brotherhood has put us through, there's no way in hell they're getting my research. No. I still don't know if there's a way to scroll down or uh, look down, turn Until the page or anything see. like that. I'm pretty sure one of these uh, tells us her location because she uh, writes down about their date. And it may not update until after I've uh, left. Yeah, here we go. Date night. There we go. Uh, what better way when your anniversary than going back? Okay. Retrieve the terminal password. I'm pretty sure that's far away, though. Joining the responders. Missing. Sensor design upgrades. Okay. Password required. I see. Alright. There's the password over there. There's the research right there. Uh... Find the next journal in Welch, which is even further south than that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, down here. Now, I mentioned before, I would love to go into the top of the world place up here. So I think that's where we're headed next, even though it's a bit out of the way. Let's get ready. Steel scrap. I don't need any more of that, for real. I absolutely need to avoid using or collecting that stuff. Yeah, the only way in is either through these terminals or through the top. And that door could even be closed by a terminal. There's this guy way up here in the sky. I really don't need to be picking up anything until I go to craft something and find out I don't have the item that I need. Pork and beans, actually, I will take. I think I have enough aid items, but you never know. Okay. So our stash is full, full. Yeah, so I absolutely don't need to pick up anything else. Unless it's ammo, basically. If it's weapons, I can break them down. Uh, to get the crafting modifications. But then I just need to drop the scrap. Especially if it's just steel. I don't need any more steel at all. Until I get a recipe for uh, steel walls and stuff, then I'm going to go ham. What's this guy with a ski mask on? A ski head. Oh, it, it is some kind of resort or something up here. I imagine it will be overrun. So let us approach with some caution. Uh-huh. It's just Scorched, though. What level? Level 1? That wasn't a kill? I figured two shots and she would be toast. She went to get a board? <laughs> it's uh, good thinking. It's not going to help you, though. Okay, I saw one downstairs. There he is. He or she. Oh, please let me have your hat. And I'm pretty sure there was one more upstairs. There is. See her right through the door. White powder winter sports. Those two good hits. As a level six, though. I've only just noticed. Oh, come on. Quit dodging. Nice.
Okay, this guy knows where I'm at, though. I'm not getting the sneak attack bonus on him. That was a pretty good crit, though. Is he using a shotgun at this distance? Okay. It seems to be everybody. I definitely don't need glass. Knuckles, I don't need. Because I'm not ever using them. A machete I don't need. A ski sword? Alright, I gotta at least look, I guess. Level 10. Level 15. Man, it looks cool, too. Okay, we're keeping the ski sword, then. Tin can. Oh, a weenie. I saw it. Mine. Gonna eat the heck out of you. I wonder if that's... I do kind of need more plastic if I'm going to make more bulk items. Plastic and adhesive, I guess, are two of the items that I need, surprisingly enough. I think that's probably silverware, so like steel. Oh, here's a recipe for sweet potato stew, we know. Looks like cream in there. Empty. Okay. That's all good things. Let's see what level that rifle is. Oh, I could do it right here as well. Marksman's hardened sniper rifle is the one that I just upgraded. This one can be scrapped though. Uh, this could be scrapped. Yeah, all the junk. Some cloth, yeah, that's all the pre-war money is good for. So this is a level 10, and my hardened rifle is a level 10. The ski sword I'm going to keep, like I said. I feel like the throwing knives are going to end up being uh, grenades. Is that correct? Yeah, they are. And I can get it back. That's cool. Okay. So I may start using those. I'm going to have them equipped just in case. Wooden skis. So I guess those are for wood. I don't need any more cloth. I'd love to learn to craft a ski sword. That sounds awesome. Squirrel bits I'll eat. Am I hungry? I am. So we picked up squirrel bits. We also picked up uh, iguana bites or something like that. Reds 10, disease chance 4%, I see. HP 45, agility of 3, food of 15, so that's pretty good. We already have spoiled meat on us. Is that from the hot dogs? Please don't tell me. I have two hot dogs on me. Reds 5, increases max HP by 30? Yeah, I'm eating one. Thank you. And we're already thirsty again, too. Good grief. This purified water is not going to last as long as I would like to think it would. Okay, there's usually not duct tape in these. Okay. I don't think we need any more asbestos. I could be wrong. Okay. So we can try to get there. I'm just not sure exactly how. It says south there's binoculars, so I assume that that's a survey point. But how far? Discover the Savage Divide, eh? A few points for that. Okay, that survey point is up there, and there's uh, cages with people in them. I assume they're dead people, and... I don't know. It's hard to say if it's raiders or super mutants. I'd figure if it was super mutants, it would be the bag of gore or whatever. Just the bloody bones and stuff. Raiders usually are the ones that put actual people out in the cages. Adjustable. We may be able to use our sniper rifle for this one. 
be worth a shot. Ha 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 ha. Got some rad stags hanging up. I don't see any movement though. All these people are just hung up and uh, caged and stuff. It's like nobody around. Can't be right though, right? There's gotta be enemies here. It can't just be devastated like this and nobody around. Very curious. I'm also worried that they just haven't spawned in or something. And I'm about to walk up into the middle of them. They'll suddenly be like, oh, there's people here. We should spawn in enemies. Yeah, see? From where? I thought this was a junk pile that I'd have an opportunity to loot. Okay, they gave up real easy. Oh, there they are. It's a level six. Missed. Oh wow, there's another one. I feel like that was a crit. It was a headshot at least. Okay, well they know where I am. But I don't know the layout of their hideout here. Oh no. Wow. Coming in on me with a Bowie knife, hey? Eh? It's a level 15 as well. Still says danger, but I don't even see on my compass uh, where any enemies are. Let's get some carry capacity increase. Oh, I see an enemy in there. I also see some power armor it appears. Right. We're still in danger. Sounds like it's to the left here, but I don't see anybody. Back there, maybe? I could hear them. Raider power, right leg. So this is just a frame and one piece. It's probably not worth it. How much does it weigh? 12? Yeah, we'd be over encumbered by then. For sure. There's a bobblehead inside as well. Where? If anybody wants to point him out, I'd love to see this fool. Oh, there he is. Level 14, crown. Yeah, one thing's for sure about this gun. It doesn't let him relax. Two frag grenades on this guy? Greedy. Gold is always good. Let's get this red stag cooked up before it spoils. Uh, Q. We can make crispy squirrel bits from what? Squirrel bits. Oh. I didn't realize. I thought it... Oh. Okay. I was a little confused then. Alright. That's a head. Old possum. I don't need to get any more alcohol. Skill 2. So I'm going to have to rank up my perception again. Because we're running into a lot of skill 2 uh, locks now. There's a bobble head for sneak. Good. Bone saw. This guy doesn't have anything on him. 
aluminum can, a sickle. I can't imagine that the sickle is uh, high level, but I'm gonna check and see this dead guy. Oh yeah, I can see the leg piece now, because I'm actually looking at it. This is a thing. Raider power helmet. Okay, we're taking it. We're already over encumbered, so I'm gonna take the power armor stuff. Red stag meat again. I don't need the bourbon for sure. Some 45s. That's gonna come in handy if I ever decide to make a revolver. 308s, nice. Firecracker berry. That must have been outside. Syringer ammo and a pulse grenade, okay. We don't have a double barrel in storage or on us. Okay, we're taking all this. We'll leave the frame because we already have a frame. I don't want to put it on and wear it right now. I guess she must have tripped the tripwire or something. That first lady that came out after us did. Okay, I want to see. Uh, about cooking now because we picked up a couple of things I know we get the squirrel bites and the firecracker berry juice it looks like what does this give us nothing crit damage times 10% or plus 10% I mean okay but I feel like there's a way to survey the area from up here so let's see haha -ha. Maybe it was up in the tower. Man. Not sure how I missed that the first time around. It's fine. Nope. It's not giving us the option to survey the area anywhere here. I was absolutely certain that it would. Yeah. Cliff watch. It's even a pair of binoculars. I'm trying to see. I guess this one wasn't. Flatwoods Lookout. It was a tower thing. And I haven't seen any of those anywhere else. So I guess I'm not looking for uh, binoculars. I'm looking for a tower. Somebody else is headed towards top of the world as well. Or might be coming from. Headed away from top of the world. We actually have to go that way to get to it. Which is a little weird. Looks like a couple of train stations. Ooh, I almost totally forgot this guy. A stim pack. A pickaxe? I don't think I want to pick that up. I do love picking the wild plants and stuff like that, though. Making useful teas and meats out of them. Glowing resin. I needed that for something. I can't for the life of me remember what it was now, though. Firecracker berry again. I like that extra crit damage. Blackberries in abundance. Carrot flowers. Man, right after I said I love picking the wild stuff, it just, they all pop up for me. It's beautiful. So if you want to catch another episode, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.